it's 100% true that churches are failing men. Churches continue to fail men by putting them on the back burner and not prioritizing creating a church that men want to attend. But it cuts both ways, and men are failing churches by not showing up and serving as well. So what is the solution? So there are a lot of videos out there that want to that want to be sensationalist about it and put the blame on churches or on men. And my intent is not to crap on either group. The churches are doing some things really wrong, and so are men. So the churches are doing some things well, and so are men. So we just have to take a realistic look. And there's not a one-size-fits-all for this, but churches could do better at certain things, and men could do better at certain things. It is too big of a topic to cover in this video, so I'm not even going to try, of why church membership for men is declining, but I will give you some resources. DavidMurrow.com, Church for Men, uh, that's a great website about it. Doug Wilson and Aaron Wren have some interviews about it, and Doug Wilson talks about this as well. And then there's a book that's kind of depressing called The Church Impotent. It's by Leon Podols. Uh, and there's Strange New World by Carl Truman that talks about how this biblical worldview, um, we're biblically illiterate, and without a biblical worldview, none, none of this stuff like patriarchy or complementarianism even makes sense. And so churches are rejecting it in favor of a secular worldview. It's, it's really depressing. So if you want to go down that rabbit hole, I'd encourage you to go there. Churches without men are dead churches. Like I said, all, if you look at the data, and if you look at what's happening in Western Christianity, it's not a good thing. So we really need to turn this around. There's a vicious cycle of churches um, becoming more feminized, more uh, just churches are just rejecting masculinity. Um, they're trying to distance themselves from things that are masculine endeavors and try to tame men. And we're not at a point where that is appropriate. We're at a point where we need the energy of young men to come into the churches, and they need the discipleship and guidance that churches can offer. So churches without men are dead. You know, that's not disputed. But it's a simple fix. It's not an easy fix, but it's a simple fix. And again, this video is about men not dodging responsibility for the things that they can change within their churches. If you go to a church that isn't friendly to you and you're you're watching this video going, my church really, I, I, I can't do the things that you're going to lay out in this video. If, whether it's attend every week without getting burnt out or getting involved, it's just that, you know, they don't want me to be involved. If you are embarrassed to invite men to church, if any of those uh, things are true, you have an option. You can stay and fix it at your church or you can find a new church. It really, that's you could stop the whole video right now. That's basically what it boils down to. But you can't dodge responsibility. You need to pick a church to attend, and you need to go to that church and be a positive change there. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It doesn't matter what the churches are like. There's not going to be a perfect church, but as men, we have to form these churches into something that's going to be a positive force in the world. So I don't want men to dodge responsibility here, and I don't want to crap on the guys for, you know, oh, you should be ashamed. No, it's not, it's not like that. But if you want to see the change, you have to take responsibility. So this is very simple. You need to go to church. A lot of Christians, 65% of Christians believe that they don't have to attend church to, to be a Christian to experience God. That's just simply not true. Jesus was an example of discipleship. Jesus gave us an example of discipleship. Jesus was in communion with the Father, and Christians, we get into communion with God and fellowship with God at church, and that carries through the week, and we can strive for personal relationship with God as well, but a relationship with God actually starts corporately with the body of Christ. So you need to attend a church. Pick a man-friendly church. Pick a church that you like going to on Sunday with other men that you can talk to, with other families that have a good age group, um, you know, that there's not like missing a bunch of old people. It's all young people, you know, that's, you want a church that has multi-generations in it, and you want a church that you can be involved in and that you get filled up at the beginning of the week. But this is an important caveat. It's a way, the way that you get filled up in a healthy church is by serving, by worshiping, not by going and being a consumer. That's very important, I think. Once you're attending church, the next step is to get involved at church. And if this is difficult as a man to find a man's group, a men's group within your church or something, pick a different church or start one. Th those are your two options. And then finally, invite other men to church. As a man, it's your responsibility to invite your friends and other people. If you notice that there are Christians around you that aren't being discipled, then build a discipleship program at your church for those men and invite them. Um, if your church already has a discipleship program, you should be inviting 
men from other churches too. This is kind of a, a well-known thing, I think, but after I looked for a church for a long time with my family, it was obvious and apparent that there were a lot of churches not doing things very well when it came to discipleship or getting people involved. So if that's the case and you are at one of those churches, it is your responsibility to find other Christians and bring them to those centers where they're actually being poured into. So for men's responsibility here, it's not all on the church. We have to take these institutions and we have to participate in them. So in the, the next video, go check that out. I'm going to talk about how churches can build, you know, simple ways that churches can really increase male membership, male involvement in the church and what that looks like. Um, so check that out and I'll catch you soon.